then I'm going to call my son to see if he wants uh, I think we can get the broccoli and cheese. I am here with last year's champion, Josh Schranko from Indiana. Yes, sir. Who's your boy? That's you right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up here, and, and, I, and I probably told Josh this or not, but I'm like, my goal is catch five dinks, put them on the board, okay. and I'm on a quest for 20. Now, I know you're on a quest All for 23. Right. All right. But I know there's a certain Achigan brand that has a shirt and a sticker. That's right. That I must acquire. So that is one of my yeah. goals is to All put right. five fish on the board I each like day that. here. And then, you know, hopefully maybe maybe I get lucky and, and, and find one of them good ones. I tell you what, you get one on here, it's on the house. So. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. right here, I heard it from the man himself. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll donate fishing, fishing with Gramps. He, you deserve <laughs> one. If you get it here, you deserve it. So. Excellent, excellent. So, have you had any chance to pre-fish at all yet, or do you kind of oh, yeah. know what you're going to do? No, I, I've been here. I got here, like, I drove through the night and got here on Wednesday. Okay. Um, so, I've, I fished Wednesday half asleep because I... Uh, drove, drove through the through night. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, I got some decent pre fishing, and yesterday I fished until dark. And then today I kind of ramp hopped and did a little. I got a I got a morning pattern and a high noon pattern. Okay, so excellent. We'll, we'll see how it, how it goes. The water's been changing quite a bit. You, yep. you just didn't think you'd be ready for Saturday and Sunday given the yeah. changes? Because you guys ran into that last year. We had one day was one thing and completely different the I next. Know. Yeah, and I, the water coming up's good. Yeah. It, it's good for everybody, it's good for the motors. And, well, I guess Newport and Torquedo won't sell as many because yeah. they might not, you know, destroy as many. Hey, motors, I had but, my rock guard on; it did yeah. fine. But yeah. I spent one day in that water and then went yeah. north after that. Yeah, um, so, but I think generally it was too low to like. You could have caught fish, but it was like hampering where you could go. Yeah. And I think getting that extra foot of water, it's gonna. It's gonna make everybody's uh, experience better. Yeah. So now, do you sure. expect to have a crowd around you, or are you still pretty much kind of like you were last time, a little bit isolated? There's 224 people fishing. Yeah. There is nobody that's gonna be by themselves. <laughs> that's kind of what so, I figured too. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I, I have a completely different game plan. I'm like, you know, 30, 40 miles from where okay. I was at. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, using the motor. I got a motor this year. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna be going covering a lot of water let's put it that way. Uh, that'll work so, that'll work well yeah after you uh do a repeat or get you another one of them blues uh, right. with me and we'll get you on video yeah. after that too There's a lot of pressure but we'll, we just we just want a good showing just that's going all fishing that's right all right sure good sir good luck yeah, out there good. Go smash nice to meet you dude. nice to meet you in person too you in person, no yeah. i know it's always been on yeah. the live sure, i gotta get my hug to start oh, with it makes my it makes my freedom squad brothers jealous as jealous can be fishing fam we're back we're here with christine fisher i want to talk to you about a couple things first tell us about and this is actually important to me because i've got three young granddaughters and i can't have a better example for somebody i want them to be around with meet someday when they get a little older because they're all little bitty babes but uh talk to us a little bit about bass bass Mast, her and what you've got going there in the future because that is such a huge deal and i'd yeah, love to see oh. if, of all the people to do this it's you so well oh my gosh I, I just have to start by saying that that initiative i i cannot thank bassmaster enough toyota enough all the sponsors that poured into that for women's fishing and what it is essentially you know i know that we've got you know myself anastasia and maggie that are kind of the faces of it right now but it's so much bigger than that it's bigger than us it is we're giving all of this so that women's fishing collectively as a whole can start making positive strides can start growing the sport for other women yes. get women knowing that they belong here that they can get out there and hang with the best of them and enjoy the sport as much as we do so it's amazing i love that we get to share our knowledge and experience all these women at yes. these different events throughout the year and honestly as my competitive career has gone on now for nine years my goal has really shifted towards kind of coaching and, and helping others yes. get into it so it's a great role for me to be into and that's i mean and that's huge too because you know in a sport dominated by most dudes having I always noticed this like even my daughter was playing softball she's responded more to the coaches that were other ladies that played softball yes. because it was more relatable so having somebody like you that's actually been there done that not just in a kayak but in a boat too and uh, just having a pure love for this sport man that just that just transcends down and I think you guys are really going to touch a lot of ladies in the future too so as much as I want to have and be an inspiration for my granddaughters because I make these videos as you know for even the days when I'm no longer here for to, for those next generations in my family and the fishing family in the whole 
to watch and have, but being able to talk and make friends with people like you when we come out and do these these great events. And I, I'm here. I'm here at my first Bassmaster, <laughs> and I've been. I told Steve when I, he had him on the live a few months ago that I was going to come do one of these just because it's a bucket list kind of thing too. But I love this community so much, and I always want to encourage other ladies to get into this too. But for me, other disabled or other veterans or those who need to get out and do something else, it's it's great recreational therapy. It's fun, and you get to meet and hang out with some of the coolest people out there too. So, Christine, thank you so much, and good luck out there tomorrow. I hope you slam. I am here with Bassmaster Kayak Series Tournament Director Steve Owens. Steve, man, I tell you what, brother, we did a live a while back, and you got me all hyped up talking about Bassmaster because I've been a life member forever, and you know I'm just getting into the whole kayak fishing series scene and all that too. But you told me I had to come do one this year, and I picked this one. And I'm not a smally guy, but I have had an absolute blast being up here trying to learn on the water, on the fly, at my first ever Bassmaster event. But man, what do you, what do you think? How does this one rank so far, like in size numbers, uh, as far as like overall? Because I'm telling you, Bassmaster events are growing, growing, growing a little bit ever since you became the man, the myth, the legend. I know you're tired of hearing it, but man, <laughs> brother, you got to celebrate people who do good things. And uh, the series is really growing. So tell us a little bit about your last few events and what we got going on in the future. Yeah, I appreciate you. And, and I'm not a smally guy either. That's why I wear big clothes. No, no I'm just kidding. Yeah. You know, I live on Chickamauga. We've got smallmouth down there, uh, but we don't have river smallmouth. Okay. And, you know, obviously, you know, AJ has done a great job bringing Hobie up here for some years and, yep. and really, you know, uh, with the local kayak groups that you have up here, um, he worked with them and they kind of set this place on the map, you oh, know, yeah. which everybody knew about it. And this place is no, I'm getting goosebumps down my legs right oh. now. Uh, it's crazy. Um, but, you know, this area up here where we're at, particularly in Lewisburg, our boundaries are different than the Hobies and uh, it opens up a different stretch of water going north, east yeah. and west, uh, which is good yep. uh, because it takes away a little bit of some people's history. Okay. And that's, that's a challenge we run into when we go to the bodies of water right. uh, over and over is that I know where you fish and yeah, so now yeah. inherently I'm not going to go there probably and so uh, but but this place is amazing yeah. last year we had almost we had like a 12 fish average for 140 something anglers uh, that's including people who skunk or didn't catch a limit and I mean it's uh, so it's amazing so it's last amazing. year 140 anglers and this year we're at 224. 224. Yeah, That's a pretty good group. <laughs> it's our third event this year of over 200. Uh, we had 258 on Murray, 170 something on Possum Kingdom, 211 on Gunnersville. Last year we had 234 on Gunnersville, which was our record at the time. And just to have that continue to grow, yep. there's there's no word to describe it other than grateful, which is what I am to yep. all of you people yep. who have, uh, you know, put the, the trust behind me and Bassmaster to do this for y'all. And um, many of you know me, I'm pretty open. Yeah. Uh, and this truly is something that I enjoy doing to see the uh, the effect it has on people because outdoors saves people's lives. Yes, 100%. Outdoors helps people with their mental health. Yep. Outdoors helps friendships and relationships grow and bond. And, and that's, you know, we love tournament fishing, but there's a yeah. lot more that's more important than that. And that's really what keeps me engaged and drawn into it. So. Now, let me play on that a little bit, too, because I've probably run into this week alone probably four or five other people. It's either their first ever kayak tournament or their first ever Bassmaster tournament. For a lot of people, I mean, I've been a Bassmaster member my whole life. Right. But it, it, it's only until something like this where somebody could literally be a regular Joe, uh, come out and feel, I mean, for a lot of people, a dream of fishing in a Bassmaster event. I mean, that's the pinnacle, the peak, the top of the top, and I'm not going to win a blue trophy, but I want to have fun catching fish. But again, it's, it's a bucket list thing, and, and, and going back to, like Steve said, I focus a lot on veteran recreational therapy and getting outdoors, getting away from the keyboards and everything. Um, and it's just the sport is great. And I'll tell you what, you will not find a better community than the people that we run into at all these different kayak fishing events. So I encourage everybody, if you're brand new to it, 
come out, try one of these Bassmaster events, meet all the people that you watch on YouTube all the time, and uh, you'll get to learn a lot, have a lot of fun, and fish in a lot of the best fisheries in the country. Steve, brother, Appreciate glad you're you. feeling better. Yeah. And uh, thanks again for talking to us, and I hope to talk to you after this when we talk about who won this thing. Well, maybe you can come here Sunday and get a check and a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be here with the camera for sure. Absolutely. We appreciate the support. We appreciate you advertising and, and getting your veterans out like you do. Yes, sir. It means a lot to a lot of people. Yes, uh, sir. Not just the veteran, but their extended family. Because yes. They appreciate everything we do for one another. So That's what the Freedom that. Squad's all about. So all of our veterans, homeland heroes, and everybody out there. It's so awesome. All right. Thank you. All right. Guys. Let's go get in this because I know that's what we're doing. What's up, fishing fam? Welcome to the Fisherman Gramps YouTube channel. My name is JT, and if you're looking for tips, tricks, reviews, and how to's, hey, you came to the right spot today. Day one, Bassmaster Kayak Series. Day one on the Susquehanna River. Ugh, stoked. Of course, in typical Gramps fashion, I get to the boat ramp, and there's a club dirt launching out at the same time, which, you know, take time to get in, get on. So I'm already on the water 10 minutes after line's in. And then go to drop my motor, mm, didn't leave my my plug long enough, and disconnected, I had to paddle the, a little bit back to the ramp, get out, let more cord out of my battery box and plug it all in. Ah, whatever. I've got a little bit of a run, but the good news is I don't see any boats and or kayaks going where I'm going. <laughs> it could be a good thing, could be going for a bad thing. But again, this is going to be a spot that I found some dinks in practice, but they're over 12 inches for the most part. So if I can get five on the board out from down that direction, then uh, so be it. Our freedom squad buddy Brian is working the opposite of the bank. I see him already. Um, we're fishing the same area, on both different sides. But uh, yeah, and then I see that my graphs are saying that my my uh, black box and whatnot is not being found. So I might have accidentally disconnected something up in the front hatch when I was pulling my strap out or charge the batteries. Not sure. We'll figure that out later. I'll hop up in, on the bank and check it out. But we're going to get down here and get it, try to see if we can get at least a top water bite. If I can get five on the board, then I'll take the time to figure out what's going on with this. And, uh, or not. And then just get back to fishing. If we can get on five and then go hunt for a big one for the rest of the day, that's the game plan. Uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Never done a Bassmaster event before, so it's a whole new, no expectations, don't fish. I've, I've only got a few goals. One, don't finish last. <laughs> Number two, put a limit on the board each day. And if the Lord blesses me while I'm down here, catch my new catch PB, something bigger than a 19 and a half. I would love, I'm on a quest for a 20. I'm on a quest for a 20. So let's see if we can make it happen. Haven't had a top water bite all week. Let's see if today's the day. The magic day. Hope to find some pushing bait fish up against this rock. Two hours later. Apparently I've blown a fuse in my electronics and so I'm out here looking blind and the only reason why I'm fishing up here is so I can use my electronics. So I've been, and I left my sunglasses in the truck. So I'm gonna stop it around. I'm gonna go back to my truck. I think I've got some other fuses in there. I see one of my fuses go into my, my GLX black box has blown. Um, so I, I, I'm pretty sure I got some in the truck and I know I've got in like a backup in my other Dakota lithium black box I use to power my GoPros. So at least I'll be able to get electronics back to that. I mean, it's like I've got my maps and shit, but I got no side, no down. For whatever reason, when like you're connected to the black box, but the network's not working, the rest of the shit like doesn't even work. So I'm gonna stop wasting time and haul my ass back. Now make haul my ass back to the boat ramp now. And I've been throwing, sitting here throwing a wacky rig and everything else up in about like, I don't know, four inches of water. So I'm like, I'm not even fishing the edge of the fucking ledge where the bass are gonna be, so. Before this gets any worse and before it goes on any longer, <laughs> I'm taking my ass back to the ramp 
you know, it's probably going to cost me a half an hour of fishing time, but I, 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 I need, I need to, I need to be, I need to, I need my shit working. <sighs> Try and relax and, you know, stay, stay composed. Let's hurry up and go get this done. I was like, well, I can just fish all day without electronics. I was like, that's dumb. Let's make a move, go get the shit. If I can get the fuse fixed and back on, you know, and give up, then it's better than not having my shit all day and just trying to force my will onto the fish. One hour later. All right, quick update. We had to run back to the ramp. Swapped out a fuse. Had to do a factory reset. And a couple little tricks that I saw on the internet basically set it back to simulator mode then back to regular and then reboot and then pick your, your graphs and things again so I basically lost everything that I had set up at least on the, the one side but we've got our we've got our electronics so we can at least see stuff Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We can do this. All right, let's, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fish. I'm gonna put my key back in. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We just gotta relax and fish. We're gonna be patient, we're gonna fish, we're gonna go catch it. Just need five keepers. Five keepers. Getting shepherd up here. Wonder if you ever There's the puppies. <laughs> How you doing? Doing all right, trying to find some fish. Yeah. But I'll, I'll admire the beautiful puppy dogs. Yeah. I got a. None. I have just had the worst luck. My leg. I blew a fuse, and they tried to fish without it, and was down there fishing blind. And I chose the fish up here so I could see, because half the field, most of the field, is down in the shallows. And so I finally just got back up to the boat ramp, found a fuse, and I'm just getting everything kind of reset back up, trying to sca trying to savage the day. <laughs> I am not a smally guy, but I came up here with the hopes and dreams of finding a few. And I caught some decent sized ones in practice between, you know, 12 and, and uh, 12 and 16 inches, and that's cool. And uh, I would kill to get five of those right now. <laughs> but I've stuck, I got to 130, so as long as I put one or a few on the board. I, I don't come to these things to win them, but I like to make YouTube videos and and hang out with other people, but I still sure would like to catch some fish. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So I was just left in the good Lord's hands and said, I'm here having fun. I can, I can see in the water again now, so at least I got that going for me. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a beautiful river. My, uh, my brother's got a German Shepherd service dog, and then I've got his brother as my companion dog. We're both disabled veterans. So, so those are our two buddies, a Gunner and Bullet. So, <laughs> 224 is what the final total was. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. 31 states and Canada. I just wanted to see what bait they were throwing. And I had some decent luck throwing a little finesse jig and Nico and and uh, more finesse. They just did not want anything top water. Chatterbait's what I love to throw, and they didn't want nothing to do with it yet. But I figure I'm just going to slow down and pick apart these rocks. And my goal was to go try to find five dinks along there, put them on the board, and then try to work my way up and like tie on a mag draft and throw something bigger. <laughs> try to get that PB, but you know, got to get them five dinks first. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun trying for sure. Fine, Enjoy it. Uh, I sure will. Appreciate you. Have a good one. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Oh, doing all right. Trying to find some of these fish. There you go. You from around here? No, I came up from Indiana to fish in this kayak tournament. Wow. All right. Yeah, we have a campsite up on the west bank. 
Oh, that's cool. Yep, right up here. That's what I'm talking about. I know I just got to cast at everything because I know they're in here. You know, you just got to keep doing it. They are. They are. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. that's I thought about getting in on it this year. I mean, because I actually camp. We have a camper right here on the West Branch. Oh, that's awesome. But we fish every week. Yeah, I, man. That's, I don't know how fair that would be. I, I, we, in Indiana, we fish a lot of strip pits, and, you know, we have some lakes, so it's mostly spotted bass and largemouth. Okay. If you drive up north to, like, Indianapolis and farther, you can get on the rivers. So I went up there last weekend and spent a Saturday just floating the White River, and it was like my Smalley training camp. So, I mean, I got to where I was catching them pretty good, nothing of any big size, but I was like, okay, at least I know how to fight them. So I've, I've come here and I've caught probably 15 so far in practice. Yeah. So between all that, it's like, this is the best week ever, I don't care. <laughs> and then, you know, Bassmaster came here, so I was like, I'm gonna come I'm going to come be a Bassmaster. Why not? <laughs> well, next time you come, you should come stay at our, we have an Airbnb. Oh. Airbnb. Okay, do me a favor. Do you guys use social media at all? Yes. Okay, I'm on YouTube at Fishing with Gramps. I'm pointing to the wrong okay, side. All right. I'm on YouTube at Fishing with Gramps, and uh, the whole point of our channel is to get other disabled veterans out for recreational therapy. Awesome. But we come and fish all these tournaments because we like to meet all the cool people you meet, you know, you know on YouTube, like Christine yeah. Fisher, and you know, like, it because and it's fun, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to be in Beaver because the, the guys I'm with, you know, I normally stay in an Airbnb when I travel, yeah. but I decided to come so late, and a couple of dudes I'm on the road with just jumped in an Econo Lodge, so we threw a, we threw a cot in there. But man, at my age, I'm all about the B and B life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, well, for fishermen, we would hook you up. Oh, oh heck we'd yes. Sure, we make sure there's beer in the fridge and uh, yeah. yeah. See, because next time I come up here, my I, I, I'm in a group called Freedom Squad, and it's me and my buddy and my brother. We're all three disabled vets, and uh, that's kind of what we do is evangelize to get people on the water. Yeah. But everywhere we go, we get a B and B and like make an adventure of it, and that's the whole point. Sure, the tournaments are fun, but the adventure is the whole point of all of it. Oh, the whole trip. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, so, just, I just subscribed. Oh yeah, drop me a. My father -in That's awesome. Hey, that's living right there. Yeah, he's in North Carolina now. That's all. Yeah, probably Fort Bragg area. Yeah. He's a little bit south of Fayetteville. Okay. Yeah, he's up. He's still up there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, my uh, my dad's a Vietnam vet. My wife and I are both Army vets, and we have three sons that are now all vets. Wow. Thank you for your service. Oh, uh, it it was awesome. But my daughter had the most fun. She's a nursing student, so she's traveled all over the country during COVID and never came home. <laughs> we have a nurse, too. There we go. Hey, I'm Mark Gittens. Gittens Mark, like kittens. So Mark Gittens. Me, I'll comment. Oh, perfect. I'll comment on it. Hey, best of luck to you, brother. Hey, thanks all. Good talking to you guys. I love meeting folks on the river. All right, I caught him on this at home in this color water, so maybe it'll help. Come on, Smiley, hit my spinner bait. Pick the bastards. I'll take a PB over five keepers any day. Just let me put one fish on the board. <laughs> baby call that fish yes get up here get up here oh you're a good one yes sir I called that I called that whole situation yes I, uh, <laughs> oh that's my biggest fish of the week so far yes 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 
Hello, my new friend. Oh my goodness, I just called this fish. I just caught my first fish ever in a Bassmaster tournament on a point with a current bend around, just like a Jeff, Jeff Little video. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I realized this color water is just like it was last Saturday when I was at home, when it was stained up a bit. Oh my goodness, let's get a preliminary. I'm about a 15 or so. Oh my goodness, I called that fish. I was like, I'm gonna keep casting here. I know it's gonna happen. All right, one, one, 16. All right, homie, I just need you to sit still for one, one second and just relax. Shoot, 15 and three quarter. There we go, <laughs> look at that gorgeous fish. Oh. Thank you, sweetheart. Day two. Bass Master Kayak Series, Susquehanna River. It's a beautiful morning. Fog everywhere. Not much to recap for day one. One fish. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Electronics, fuses, calamity bears. Sometimes that's fishing though. But I did put one fish on bass tracks at a bass master event. So I got that going for me. People wonder, you know, how do you how do you recover from having a day where you only caught one fish? Well, I mean, my very first kayak bass fishing national championship, I skunked on day one. And I remember talking to Christine Fisher that night at the headquarters and she's like just go out and catch him up tomorrow and I did caught the limit that I needed to qualify to make it into championship Friday make the top 100 because I just went out and fished and so that's what I'm going to do today fish these to win them. If I did, I would be down below the dam like the vast majority of the field dealing with that current and skinny water and I'm just not physically able or willing to do that. I might catch some, I might not, but I'm here. I'm fishing a bass master event. <laughs> And I've got one on the board, and I've got seven more hours to catch the fish. Maybe even a big one. Who knows? But I did it. I came to a Bassmaster event. I'm still really happy about that. Two hours later. <laughs>
11 and a half, non scoreable. I ran all the way up here and he's going to have to try to cut. Desperation move and probably shouldn't have left where I was, but gotta try something. Right, keeper number two. Hey, what do you know? 25 minutes to go. 15 and a quarter. Let's go. No, I caught three. One was short and the other two were keepers, but nothing big. I, I ran four all, all day. Hit four early. Yeah. Three right here in the last 15 minutes around that corner. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we gonna test the old boat control today. Cause that shit's choppy. Finishing third in the MAKBF tournament, taking on $5,294, Christine Fisher. Appreciate you going to get right by the train. Literally perfect timing. Came in huh. right as about you get the call. You oh, I get that, Yep. Well, you've got an event-filled weekend, so go ahead and just tell everybody about it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to catch my breath first because, yeah, yeah, I literally, uh, I, don't, I don't speed, but I was speeding to try to get here and make this. Um, oh, what a week. First off, I mean, I love this river. It's no secret. This is one of my favorite fisheries. I've, I've always cut checks here, and I was actually telling Ewing just a couple days ago, I was like, this is the year I think I'm going to beat yeah. you. Um, I felt good about it. I felt like I was due for a win. I, I, this river just clicks for me. It always makes sense. Usually every year a lot of stuff goes wrong, and ironically enough, this year, way more stuff went wrong. If anyone saw my story, I mean, first thing in the morning yesterday, my motor, um, my motor gave out, and I was pedaling upriver because I thought it'd be smart to go way downriver and try to get away from people, so I couldn't keep floating, unfortunately, down. Um, and that was tough, but you know what? I decided that I wasn't going to let that kind of affect my day, and put up a good limit and then today I got I have to thank Alex Yoka and uh, Aaron over there they spent a lot of time with me this morning helping me fix my uh, backup motor and then 20 minutes into this morning after getting in the water late that motor failed too so it was <laughs> it was just a weekend I mean I, I'm just happy to be up here and I got to throw a big wake bait and a six inch cool shad the entire time those are only two baits I threw only two baits I caught fish on caught a lot of fish um, my mind was so messed up today, I caught uh, about four or five 17 three quarters, and like you tell me every time, I should have taken a picture of those because I thought I had two in my photos, and I threw two back trying to get 18 out of them, and that probably hurt me a little bit. But there's nobody that I'd rather be up here with Ewing. I look up to him 
an awful lot. He's dominant on this river, and it's just an honor to be up here and almost almost got him this time. Thank you. Anybody want to thank for you get out of here? Yes. First and foremost, most importantly, good Lord above. Like I said, this weekend, I'm always an absolute hot mess out there, but this was probably at times 100. And I, <laughs> he was definitely with me, just trying to keep me keep me focused in on the moment and just enjoying this beautiful fishery, and I did, and I, it was great. Um, Got to thank you guys, Steve-O. Uh, you're one of the best tournament directors out there and Bassmaster for putting this on for us. Again, Aaron and uh, Alex and the guys, I, I was damsel in distress this morning at the ramp, and they helped me fix that motor and get that going. Um, all the anglers for showing out and uh, for this awesome fishery, the Tourism Bureau, and uh, family walking, watching back home, and sponsors. And, uh, yeah, sounds good. All right, take a breath, grab your Thank check, you. and we'll see you later. <laughs>